Hello, my name is Laura Auten. Along with many clergy and laity in the Uwari District, I serve Jesus Christ. I serve as superintendent and missional strategist. I'm also the cabinet representative for the Conference Board of Ordained Ministry. 19 years ago, the 2002 annual conference amended the clergy vacation policy. 19 years ago, I'd say it's time for an update. Others think so too. The Board of Ordained Ministry, the Cabinet, and the Conference Board of Laity. All of these groups have been in conversation about the benefits to congregations of strong clergy well-being the importance of time away from the demands of work and ministry, and the need for clarity and equity in time off for clergy. They've consulted the vacation policies of other conferences. After careful and prayerful review, the following revisions are offered for consideration to the 2021 annual conference. In its entirety, the proposed clergy vacation and continuing education policy can be found in the report of the Board of Ordained Ministry in the Program and Reports book and will be printed in the supplement. Here's a summary of what changes are being proposed. One, instead of vacation weeks being determined by years of service, the proposed policy states that all clergy serving full-time will be eligible to receive four weeks of vacation. While the responsibilities and expectations vary from appointment to appointment, the weight of responsibility and expectation is the same, whether a pastor is in her first appointment or her last appointment. Two. The 2002 policy offered nothing specific about time off for part-time clergy. The proposed policy states that clergy serving part-time will be eligible to receive two weeks of vacation. Three, the proposed policy includes standards for continuing education and for maternity and paternity leave that are already in the United Methodist Book of Discipline. Four, the proposed policy encourages staff parish committees to support clergy in arranging for two days off each week for personal time and Sabbath. Five, the guidance offered for congregations and clergy managing time off for rest and healing from illness or recovery from surgery has been offered on a case-by-case -case basis. The proposed policy encourages open communication, reliance on instructions from medical professionals, and a consultation with the district superintendent if the time for healing and recovery will be a month or longer. Again, the entire policy can be found in the report of the Board of Ordained Ministry in the Program and Reports book and will be printed in the supplement. What we all want is vital ministry for the sake of the mission of Jesus Christ. For that to happen, leaders must be fruitful and vital. And for that to happen, Clergy must take time for rest, renewal, and Sabbath. This updated policy is offered for the sake of fruitful ministry in the name of Jesus Christ, who took time to be a part, to rest, and to pray. Thank you.